Hi friends, Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on Azure Vision Service and we specifically discussing on image captions. Okay, so how can we create a, uh, generate a image caption from a image? Okay. So in general, Azure provide lot of vision services like OCR, image analysis in which we will able to do the tagging, captions and background removal and they are providing a face detection and face recognition APIs and they are also providing option for the video analysis. Okay. So as I mentioned, we will be discussing on image captions in this video. Okay. And there are two type of image captions are available. One is a caption. So that is a normal caption. What it does is it is actually generating a one sentence description. For example, if a person is um, sitting on a car or something like that, so it will just say that, okay, a person or a man is sitting on a car. Okay. And um, we have um, another option that is the dense caption. So dense caption is actually a more detailed, um, uh, it's a, like a more detailed uh, description that is providing. Okay. For example, in the same example, like um, a person is sitting on a car, it may say that, okay, it, it, it will give some general description like a person is sitting on a car. Then it will say captions like a car is there and a person is there and a, what we call it is also a creating a bounding box for the, if, if a person is handling a mobile and it may say that, okay, a person is handling a mobile like that. So it will give nearly 10 different uh, detailed captions uh, with respect to that particular image so we can do we can experiment and we can then you will get a clear understanding and uh, for the time being um, Azure is only providing captions in English only okay so uh, that is um, in general now we can start coding for that uh, first what we need we need to have a Azure account and um, once you have the Azure account, you can you guys can um, log into that and you will get a home screen something like this. So for that, we can go to an Azure uh, machine learning service. Uh, so sorry, we can go to the Azure AI service. So in Azure AI service, we have an option that is the Azure computer vision. Okay, so click on this computer vision. Okay. So here I have already created a resource for computer vision. So uh, if you have not created yet, just go to uh, create button. Just click on this create button here. We can create a re resource group. Just select the resource group. Okay. And um, if, if, if nothing is there, just create, click on the create and you guys can give a name. Then uh, select US East and uh, you can give a name here and you can select a pricing tier. So from here, just select a pricing tier and uh, just click on this checkbox, then do a, uh, just do a create. Okay, review and create. Then it will work fine. Then we will have that um, resources ready. Okay, so that is about the resource creation. Since I have created the resource, I'm not going to create it again, okay. So let me click on this vision, okay. So here we can see the few details, okay. Here we can see um, its uh, details and um, its keys. Here click on the keys here, we, we will able to see the keys. So these keys are important. So we need these keys and these endpoint URLs in our project, okay. So now, let me go to the Visual Studio code here. I have created an environment, Python environment. Now let me create a requirement.txt file. So here let me create a requirements.txt file. Okay. So here we need two things. One is we need a Python Okay, spelling is python.env for the environment management. Now we need to have a another uh, package that is the Azure AI Vision Image Analysis. Okay, so these are the two packages that we need. So once we have the packages ready, uh, 
let me clear this and I can run it let me activate the environment here I can activate conda activate env Oh, anyway, then let me list. So we have the requirement file here. I can do pip, pip install minus r requirement dot text. Okay. So here the requirement is running. So this is the same uh, same uh, project folder. You can see I am in um, I am in Azure Vision folder and I am running the requirements. Okay. Otherwise we can also run it directly from here. So we can use from here. Uh, I can. The environment is ready, so here also I can do pip install minus r requirement dot text. Requirement dot text. Okay, so the installation is done. Now let me create a file called caption.py. So here maybe let me import OS and I can from dotnet env can import load env okay now i can uh, from azure what i can do from azure dot ai dot vision dot image analysis import so here i can import image analysis client and from azure dot ai dot vision dot image analysis dot models we can import uh, vision features so this will provide which all features that we need to extract from the image okay that we can discuss and here also what we need to from core credentials we can import the Azure credentials okay now let me create a dot env file Okay, now I'm going to create a key. Uh, I can say that vision key. I can mention vision key here. And also I can mention end vision and URL. Vision and URL. Okay, so these are the two things that we needed. For that, we can go back to our uh, Azure portal. Here we can copy any one of this key. So I am going to click on the keys. Now let me, sorry, um, let me paste the key here. Okay, now I can go here and I can select the endpoint. Okay, so let me copy the endpoint here. So we have our um, vision key and the endpoint is here. Okay, so now what we can do, we can load the ENVs. Okay, now I can, I need the key. Key can be loaded using um, get ENV and here the key is uh, Azure sorry vision key right vision key that is the key name then endpoint endpoint will be os dot get env uh, this is my endpoint okay so we have our um, key and endpoint is ready. Now we can create our client. The client can be um, image analysis client, which need two argument. One is endpoint. So endpoint will be our endpoint and it need the credentials. For credential, we can use the actual credential and we can pass the key. Okay, so we have our key is ready. Now we can uh, use the test URL. I can have the test URL. So I have copied the test URL here. So this is the URL that we are going to test. Okay. So I will show you that. Let me close this. Okay. So sorry. 
uh, let me copy this copy is not working i'm copying this and let me paste it here okay so this is the image that we are going to test or we are going to create captions 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 for this particular image url so let me um, create a new tab and paste it here okay so this is the image that we, we are going to test for that what we can do okay so uh, i can create a result okay and i can ask client dot since we are going to analyze from url right so we can use the azure from url okay here i can pass the image url as test url okay now we can test the visual features which all visual visual features we need okay so here we can have a lot of features are there okay we can have a people read smart crop and tags so we in this video we only concentrating on the captions so we need the caption and we also need the dense captions so these are the only two things that we are going to discuss in this video okay so we are good and once the execution is done what i can check i can check that if result dot caption is not none okay that means we have some captions so i can print it here i can say that uh, the, the result dot caption dot text can be here and maybe i can get the confidence score also confidence will be uh, result dot caption dot confidence okay so we have our confidence is also ready is not not okay so this is good now i can check if result dot caption dot not caption now we need to check the dense caption okay is not none if it is not none what we can do so since dense is providing like more than one caption we have to loop that okay so we can say that for caption in uh, result dot dense caption dot list i can get it as a list okay, now i can print it here something like uh, caption i can say that caption dot text good now i can have a conference score like uh, caption dot caption dot confidence okay so here we have done with our coding okay now we can start executing it okay so i can do python dot caption dot py let me see this okay see how this is okay maybe let me add one more thing maybe i can add a separator something like this uh, Okay. now let me execute it again just see the difference okay so here we can see uh, here we can see the uh, details i mean here uh, let me clear it again let me sorry let me try it again to make it clear okay see so this is a single caption okay a man pointing at a screen and a conference score is like 0 0.7 and these are the uh, dense captions okay here we can see a man is pointing at the uh, at the screen a screenshot of a computer okay a man is pointing at the screen and a close up of a table and the converse. so th this is uh, some of the more detailed thing here we can see a yellow uh, a person in yellow coat okay so all those things we will able to see okay so that is a difference between the uh, normal uh, caption and the dense caption and here we can see it says about man 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 right so if you want to have a general neutral thing what we can do so there is an option for that here i can add uh, one more parameters so let me see this general neutral caption so here we can set general neutral caption as true okay so this is true let me save this and run it again. Okay. So 
So I'm running. See, instead of a man, it says a person, right? So it's it's a different. Okay. So that's it. Um, so we have covered what we plan to cover in this video. So that is all about in this video. So please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye bye.